Hello, and welcome back to Taya's YouTube channel. This is step three. I'm going to be playing around with the tracks and trying to sort out how I'm going to be putting the tracks and the train on the diorama today, and perhaps some of the other elements as well, like a pond and perhaps a river and perhaps the ice rink. We will see how far we get today. So stay tuned, here we go. So as you can see, I've been busy while I've not been filming everything, but it's just a repeat of the other side over here that I completed while I was on camera last the other day. So this side over here. I'm going to actually place a bridge across from the one elevation to the other elevation so that I'll have a place to put my trolley. The trolley is the little train that goes back and forth on, on one track. Um, I'm going to build that up in front of the backdrop as well. But it's not going to be quite like this. This is a little bit too wide and it's not quite it doesn't quite fit properly as you can see it's quite precarious every year i pack the train away very carefully and because I've been using this type of train for so long, I bought several trains in a row because uh, the first train would stop working, so I would turn around and buy the same train again. So I have extra tracks, uh, as you can see. So I will be able to actually, perhaps this year, design a little bit more of an intricate uh, pattern for my train track. I have quite a bit. See how that works. I don't imagine I'll be using all of the train track. The actual control. And as always, the control has a little pin here that you can uh, start start and stop the train with. But that little pin is one of the first things that break. I just usually use a toothpick and make do. Well, before I put the train away, I make sure that all the batteries are out of it. So every year I need to put fresh batteries in my train. Okay, so this is approximately how much space I have to work with. what we can do. First of all, we need to decide where to put the controller. I think I'll put the controller right here, right beside the uh, elevated area. So that it doesn't look to be, it's not exposed, but it's, it's out of the way a little bit. And every year I need to remind myself how this track goes together. minutes you get the hang of it. So as you can see, it's a little more difficult than I thought it would be. Um, I can't make a tight turn. They have to be loose turns. And um, I simply don't have the space, the width, to make uh, really large turns. I've got a little bow in it here, but that's probably about all. But the one thing that I have discovered is that I can easily forget about the tunnel, even after everything I've said, because the train can disappear underneath the elevated platform. 
such as here. I can actually put a portal here and just make sure that there's enough room for the train, obviously, to come through. It has to be high enough. So with some carving and some ingenuity, I can make the portal there and a portal there, and it can disappear underneath the elevated platforms, which is probably a nice idea. I still have the portable tunnel that I made last year, and I can put that along the back. So leave this with me, and uh, I'll come back to you when I've got it all sorted out and figured out how, how this is going. It's going to be a little bit like this, but I'm hoping to put a few more bends and bows in, in the track before I'm finished. The train is working. Got a couple of extra little bends and bows in it. I'm actually quite pleased with the way it's looking. I've had to raise those platform quite a bit to get the train underneath, but what I'm going to do in the next section is carve the pieces off the bottom so that they're not quite that high. I don't want the platform quite that high. It just makes it a little bit awkward when I'm building on the platform. I'm quite pleased with the way it looks. What do you think? Comments down below. plan for and one of them is the ice rink. Where are we going to put the ice rink? It's probably about this big. It's in one of my totes somewhere. I'm not going to look for it right now but I'm just going to kind of look at this and decide where the ice rink should go and I think if you look at it logically this is probably the best spot for the ice rink. Right here. I think we can have an ice rink independent of any other water flow this year because I do plan on putting a lake on this side here. A lake, um, possibly kidney shaped lake or something like that. And then perhaps a river running through it, through the, through the upper levels and maybe a waterfall. Uh, could have a waterfall here and then the river running off. And perhaps a river coming through here and perhaps a river, we'll have to see about that exactly where we want the river to go. The lake is going to be for fishing. The ice rink is going to be for skating. So I'm going to build a small bridge across spanning this level to this level. But before I do that, I have to stabilize all this and put it in place um, and carve the edges, like carve the edges up so I can lower the levels. Carve this out. Perhaps put a portal here and put a portal over on this side. And then I'll bridge, bridge the gap for the trolley, the trolley that goes back and forth without looping. Then I can start planning on where the houses need to go. But before I do that, I think I'm going to be uh, looking at, once this is all settled and how this is going to be, I'll be looking at carving the mountains. That, that will be a really interesting step. I know there's a lot of interest out there as to how my mountains are carved. Thank you for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't hesitate to comment down below. And also, if you have the inclination to subscribe, that would really grow my channel nicely. Thank you. Please stay tuned. Step four coming up in a couple of days where we'll be continuing the build and perhaps we'll be starting with the mountains. Uh, that will be something you don't want to miss. It's the carving of the mountains. It's really quite unique. Have a good day. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.